Hi everyone, welcome back to another art therapy prompt. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Um, I know if you are here in Calgary, we had a bit of a stormy weekend and that got me thinking about um, a prompt that we could do to kind of reflect the weather that we've been having. And so today's prompt is called Thunder Thoughts. Um, so we are going to be drawing a stormy day. Um, it can reflect kind of what the weekend weather looked like, or you can add your own bits and pieces to it. Um, but the idea is we're gonna draw this stormy day with thunder and lightning and rain and whatever else you wanna add in there. And then we are gonna write down the things that give us those thunder thoughts. So the things that make us um, angry or frustrated or upset, um, because we all have those feelings and those feelings are valid and um, it's sometimes helpful to know what makes us feel th that way and um, by being more aware of what makes us feel um, upset or angry, um, we can either avoid it easier or we can address those problems um, quicker. So same as usual, you're going to need your paper, pencil, eraser, and coloring materials. So grab all of that and then when you're ready, uh, we'll get started. All right, so we I'll set this up in a way where we're drawing our stormy day together, um, but feel free to add whatever you like um, to your picture and you don't have to follow exactly as I do. So we're gonna draw it together, but I'm not gonna exactly tell you what to do or how to do it. I'll just kind of let you know what I'm doing um, and then you can follow along or you can take your own lead on this one. Um, so at the top of my page, I just have the title if you guys are wondering what that is. It just says Thunder Thoughts. Um, and I'm going to start off by drawing some clouds at the top of my page. So again, you guys can follow along on this or you can do your own. Usually when it's stormy, there's those big black clouds kind of looming. And you can do as many as you like. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some lightning in there. And you can do lightning as just single lines or you can double it up. There's no wrong way to go about doing this. So there's an example of one of my lightning bolts. I might do a few of them. Again, you guys can do exactly however many you like. in there. I might do one or two more. Again, you, you can fill it as much as you like. You can add some wind in there. So wind can be like swirly lines. You can add some rain.
and then just um, make sure you have a bit of room for writing, but you can always write over top of things that you've drawn, so don't be too concerned about it. adding raindrops to my stormy night or day. until you've finished your thunder scene or stormy scene. Um, and then once you're done drawing, I'm gonna give you some time uh, next year to color it. Um, so take your time with that, color your whole page. And then when you're done coloring it, we'll come back and we'll talk about um, things that make us think thunder thoughts. So things that make us angry or upset or frustrated or any of those feelings that are strong and powerful and don't always feel great. All right, so go ahead and color and then we'll come back and go from there.
All right, so you have your thunderstorm um, all colored and decorated how you want it. Now, the first thing I want us to do is think about things that make you um, angry or upset or frustrated. Um, and these can be specific things. So maybe there is a specific time or scenario that you got upset, or maybe it's more general things such as you know, people being mean to one another or um, something that's happening in the world that's making you angry or um, when you get hungry, you get angry, um, whatever the scenario might be. I want you to think of um, all the, I guess the most common times or things that will often make you upset or angry. And I want you to write them around your lightning that you drew. Okay, so the lightning is gonna represent um, our anger and the thunder, because um, thunder comes with lightning. So somewhere around those uh, lightning bolts, write down those things that make you angry or things that you make you angry when you think of, um, and then we'll come back after that, okay? All right, so you wrote down somewhere along your lightning strikes, um, you wrote down things that make you upset, that make you angry, um, and these things can be completely out of your control, but you know that um, when it happens or when you think about it, you get upset or you get angry. So the next thing that I want you to do, if you haven't already drawn some form of like wind um, in your picture, I want you to draw it however you like. I just do mine as like swirly lines. Um, but what you're going to do is along your wind, you're going to write down things that you can do to either prevent um, getting in these situations or to help yourself cope with them once you have experienced them. Because like I said, sometimes uh, we just can't avoid those situations and um, we need to have a way to help ourselves cope and move through them in a healthy way uh, instead of um, taking it out on others or how, however you uh, tend to display your anger. So um, step one, I guess draw the wind if you haven't. Um, the idea is that the wind in our picture is gonna push away the storm. So it's gonna get rid of the things that we're getting angry ups or upset about. So draw the wind and then write down um, coping strategies, tools, um, whatever you can think of that can help you uh, move on from being upset or angry. Um, and yeah, so you can do as many as you like, um, or you could do one big one. If you find that breathing is a big help, you can write down breathing. If you have um, uh, certain things that you already do, by all means, write those down. If you have things that you've been told or that you want to try to do, write those down. Um, in general, just things that are going to help you cope with your angry feelings that are valid, but also need healthy ways to um, move through them. Okay, uh, so give that a try and then we'll come back after that.
All right, so you've got your thunderstorm, you've got the things that make you angry, which we all have things that make us angry, that's totally fine. Um, and then we have the wind that helps push away um, those things. So those can be coping skills or tools that you have learned that help you deal with these particular situations that make you upset or angry. Um, some examples of things that I wrote for um, my coping skills or tools that I use. Um, I think about the situation, um, try to think of it from both sides. Um, breathing always helps. Um, setting appropriate boundaries and expectations for the people and situations that I'm with and in. Um, surrounding yourself with good people, that usually um, helps make sure that you're around less things that are going to make you angry or upset. Um, communicating with others so that they can communicate back with you and checking in. And um, all in all, just be kind. Um, so whether someone, something is making you upset, um, I have found that even if you feel like retaliating, I find that being kind back is usually the safest bet. It makes you feel better. Um, and it's just kind of the higher route to take. Again, everything is situation dependent, but usually uh, being kind in a situation where you are angry is one of the better options, but also you need to stand up for yourself. So again, it's all situation dependent. But those are a few of the things that I wrote uh, for how I deal with my thunder thoughts. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much everything. So let me know uh, what you guys wrote, what, what makes you upset, what makes you angry, um, and then how do you deal with it, okay? Uh, so I hope that you guys like the prompt. Let me know what you wrote, what you thought, and I will see you guys again on Wednesday.